Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's 7S26 Simon. Today we're just going to take a quick look at server side templates injection. This is a challenge on TryHackMe. This is in the ZTH Obscure Web Volumes room. Uh, you can see the URL up here at the top. So it's just basically provided me with an IP address and it says that there's a vulnerable machine for you to test your server-side template injection skills on and there's a flag in forward slash flag so we're going to go ahead and maybe see if we can load up the IP not entirely sure we'll be able to so let's just add flag on the end oh I tell you what this might be we aren't VPN in so uh, okay that should hopefully do the trick let's uh, try again okay so let's try something like 5 multiplied by 5 and let's hit submit Okay. Now, the suggestion uh, that they had, oh sorry, I made a mistake there. I should have used two curly braces, and that gives me 25. So we know that this, you know, is potentially vulnerable. Uh, so we've got loads of challenges to do, but I'm just going to do this one in this particular video. So. What we need to do is we use to, need to use the TPL map tool. Now, um, the way in which this works, it uh, let me just scroll up here. This is the syntax. If it's a GET request or a POST, um, you can use that kind of syntax there. So this is more than likely uh, going to be a POST because we're submitting. Let's just inspect the element. Um, so yeah it's a method post really basic request so we're going to use this second syntax here so we're going to do tpl map minus u and then we're going to use that url so 10 in fact http 10.10.177.18 d for the vulnerable parameter. Now the vulnerable parameter is going to be this one here um, and that is called uh, name. So let's put that in there and if we go back to our challenge uh, I've placed a flag in forward slash flag as well okay let's just see what this comes back with um, oops oops uh, I know why because I haven't started off correctly there we go so let's take a look so testing if the names injectable parameter name injection it's used that there shell execution okay okay nice so it looks as if this is telling me that it's vulnerable which we kind of know well we do know because it's a challenge but we, we kind of know so now what we want to do is OS CMD and let's see whether we can uh, let's see whether we can if we just go back to the automatic exploitation yeah we need to, we do need to include quotes with this this is my first time using this tool so let's just see if let's just see if we can do cat etc password and let's let's see what happens nice there you go so we've actually managed to use server-side template injection 
to go ahead and pull out the uh, etc password file. Now there is a flag in forward slash flag. So let's see whether we can do something like this. PWD present working directory, we're in root. So let's now see if we can go uh, echo var www html flag. Let's see if we can do an ls on that. Okay, we couldn't seem to do an ls on it. Let's just go a step back. Let's do ls var www html. Okay, we can't do that either. Let's go var www. Wow, okay. Hmm. I've placed a flag in forward slash flag as well. I'm not sure what he means by forward slash flag. Let's do ls home, just to test if ls is working, so para, so para. Okay, so we can see a few files there, nothing really of interest. Let's do var www again. Okay, can't see anything there. So now let's do... Locate uh, flag. Okay, they're not the flags we want. Hmm. Just add one hour there, not that we're going to need it. All right, we need to think about this one. Okay, so I've just re started re-recording this, re-recording. Uh, I did pause that just for a split second. So I think I figured out what we needed to do. And essentially, I scrolled back to the top. And um, essentially, what you can do is instead of running an OS command, uh, what we can do is run a download command. So it downloads a local file. Uh, sorry, a remote file, and it downloads it locally. So if we do this, it downloaded the file correctly. If we cat it, and then copy the results, that should give us the flag, which it does. Perfect. So that is one way of doing a server-side template injection. Really cool. Seriously cool lab. I love the way that that kind of discusses how to do it manually and then once you know how to do it manually there's a nice tool that will basically do all the fuzzing for you really quite straightforward and it has some nice functionality lets you download files so really cool um i'll probably record the next few sections uh, we've got cross-site request forgery coming up next and then later on we've got json web tokens and then we've got uh, XXE injection, and that should be most of the, the room. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll run through the rest of the challenges.